Oh, you know what? It, we, we take for granted every day that we can just put a pair of socks on our feet or during the winter time, you know, when it's cold to have, you know, a nice warm hat. And so the, the look on the kids face, a lot of them come into my office and they, they get the socks and, it, and it's just like you give them a million dollars. It's really heartwarming to be able to see that. It's, it's important. Uh, these little cute little socks that they get and the cute little hats that are knitted with love. Um, can a regular citizen get involved in this? Can they donate other things besides, uh, uh, of course, you want them to um, go to these drop-off locations and drop off that? Right, absolutely. Um, we collect things year-round. Um, we do not collect used clothing and we do not do food um, at our offices. But what we will take are things like shampoos and soaps, um, things to help out children just to keep them clean. A box is a detergent is something that has become really a big thing individual toilet paper, uh, washcloths, um, things like I said, things that we take for granted every single day just to keep ourselves clean that we will take those types of items and put them on our shelves and boy it, it goes out almost as fast as we can put them on. People don't realize when a family is receiving food stamps that uh, there's items that are just regular personal care items that uh, food stamps don't pay for and the, the money on those add up. It really does. I mean, a box of a laundry detergent now can be well over $15 a box. And so it, it comes down to basic needs. It's like, do I wash my clothes and send my kids to school with clean clothes or do I feed them? What's more important? These are uh, families also that uh, sometimes are working and uh, just aren't able to make the amount of money to pay for these um, items. Right. You know, of course, this is not new information, but so many of our families have lost their homes, so they're in a double up, sometimes triple up situation. I just ran across a family that's got literally four families living in one three bedroom house. And so, um, you know, we do have people that are working, but unfortunately aren't making enough money to be able to get those additional little supplies that they need to, to survive. And do you guys take monetary donations? We have a uh, homeless activity fund where we will accept uh, monetary donations um, and that is a direct fund. It's a dedicated fund that is only used to go to our, our children that are, have been identified as homeless. Um, the other items that are donated, I, when anybody calls me up and says I'd like to make a donation, the first question I ask them is do you want it to go directly just to homeless children or do you need it to any child in need? And, and that at that point in time determines where where it's going to go on the shelf at and who's going to receive the services.